This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is now 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Wednesday with the morning sprint. Mark Peterson is tracking frigid temperatures that are on the way this week. And we are learning new details about the grounding of Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets following that scary incident involving an Alaska Airlines plane. But, but first, police are still searching for people who may have been involved in yesterday morning's armed burglary in North Spokane. Police say it started at an apartment complex near Nevada and St. Thomas More Way. Callers reported seeing people wearing masks, carrying guns, and leaving the scene in a car. The Spokane County Sheriff's deputy spotted that car, followed it, but when they tried to pull it over, the driver took off. At some point, the suspects got out, stole a running car in the neighborhood near the Northtown Mall. Eventually, officers caught up with the suspects at Liberty Park, where 18-year-old Mackenzie McFarling and 31-year-old Shane Johnson were arrested. If you have information about this case or the other two people who were involved, call Crime Check 509-456-2233. All right, this morning as you wake up and you take a look, well, temperatures hovering around freezing into the valley, 30 at Deer Park, 31 into Spirit Lake, Cheney here at 30 degrees. We do have some active light snow flurries that are in the region and we see a little rain snow mix in some areas. Downtown right now is dry. We're gonna continue to have that light snow into parts of Idaho and potentially us, we could see a light flurry. Our high today again, 32 degrees. We're gonna see more snow tomorrow. Blizzard-like conditions across the Cascades during yesterday's storm made for some extremely tr challenging travel conditions. Drivers making the trek over the mountains, pulling over, over near the Snoqualmie Pass Summit to put on those chains. Today, Snoqualmie Pass is looking a lot better. The DOT says the road is bare and wet with some compact snow and ice in places. Throughout Spokane, people are using spaces like warming centers, the STA Plaza, even their cars to stay warm. And with frigid temperatures later this week, that number will only increase. Mayor Lisa Brown says she has created an internal city team to get those people out of the cold and into shelter. Mayor Brown put out a statement Friday saying her team has identified flaws in the current shelter system. We've been reaching out to her team to learn about that plan, but I've yet to hear back. A church is helping folks in Bonner County by providing shelter from the severe cold weather this weekend. The Priest River Community Church will operate as a warming shelter. It's beginning on Friday at 4 p.m., going all the way through Sunday at 7.30 a.m. Washington's legislative session is underway, and a bill up for discussion could update the definition of a hate crime in the state. That bill, sponsored by Spokane Senator Andy Billig, would clarify what is and is not a hate crime. It adds that anything done to public property could be classified as a hate crime. This bill is inspired by the summer's string of vandalisms targeting LGBTQ crosswalks in Spokane, as well as increased Islamophobia and anti-Semitism in light of the war in the Middle East. Senator Billig says this bill should get a first hearing next week. Honda says it's pushing the accelerator on electric vehicles. The car maker announced plans for a new series of EVs at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Honda plans to roll out roll them out in 2026. Right now, battery-powered vehicles make up of just 5% of Honda sales, almost all of them in China. A growing number of Republicans say they would support using a government shutdown as a negotiating tactic. Right now, the U.S. is operating under a two-part funding plan that expires January 19th and February 2nd. Some conservatives say letting the clock run out could pressure Democrats into more spending cuts and tighter border security. Several are holding an event this afternoon to explain that position. They have support from some GOP leaders, but they don't speak for the whole party. The first impeachment hearing for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is happening today. Republicans are pushing to impeach the top Biden administration official over the border crisis. Democrats decrying the move as partisan politics. The Department of Homeland Security plans to respond aggressively against the impeachment push, which is described by one official as meritless. The head of Boeing is speaking out about last week's terrifying incident involving an Alaska Airlines plane. Last Friday, a flight carrying 177 people made an emergency landing shortly after takeoff from Portland when part of the plane's fuselage broke loose and left a gaping hole in the side of the plane. The FAA has grounded most Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes while the company investigates the cause of last week's incident. During a staff meeting yesterday, the CEO of Boeing acknowledged a mistake by the company, supposedly referencing the plane's production. We'll be back with a final check of weather with Mark, including some interesting weather. And you know about that cold. It's coming our way. That's right after this break.